Hey, it's Mike with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. And it's Thursday, it's May 18th. This will be our chart lesson for today. And this is going to wrap our week up. No chart lessons on Friday. So uh, if you're looking for one on Fridays and you can't find it, it's because I stopped doing them on Fridays uh, just to get a little, uh, little more break from this. Uh, you know, after doing this every day for years, it kind of gets monotonous, to be honest with you. But I, I enjoy it, and so, but I did cut it back a day. So that's the reason you don't find them on Friday, in case you've been wondering. But uh, uh, we do have some new people coming from time to time, and they'll ask me why I don't do them on Friday. So I'll start saying that from time to time. But really good trading day today. Uh, again, more movement. Uh, we're finally getting some movement, and that's the way this market is. You'll go through periods where uh, the volatility is pretty low, and then... Um, then it'll pick up and uh, but the thing about the ES is that it's so predictable and uh, it's a very efficient market so it doesn't give you doesn't it doesn't give you a lot of leeway to make mistakes but the good thing is is it generally uh, because it doesn't have a lot of runaway crazy moves uh, when you do make mistakes it costs you but you know it doesn't wipe you out so to speak so uh, it's a good market to, to learn in, in my opinion, because if you can trade the ES, you can probably trade any of them. Um, and it's just a very predictable market. Very low. Uh, hardly, you really don't have to worry about slippage at all during regular trading hours. You can trade large quantities of uh, contracts. And uh, that's the reason most professional traders like the ES, because they don't like slippage, and you don't have to worry about that in the ES. So... Um, you could probably trade 100 contracts during regular trading hours, and only on the lowest volatility days would you maybe get a tick, uh, and even then it's probably going to be rare. So, But actually, before I back out, let me talk about the day. Um, clear channel here. With, we got an overshoot, then a break, and moved to a new high, and then we corrected after that. Uh, early on, I wasn't sure if maybe we had a two-tiered channel. In the end, I don't think we do, so I'll take that off, but I wanted to show that. Um, this is a very obvious channel right here. Um, I got it off these highs first and drug it down, and of course it fits perfect. Uh, you didn't get a lot of trades off of that uh, key entry point, uh, so more or less you really had to use these shorter term ones. And people will ask me that. Actually, somebody sent me an email today and says, what do you do when you don't get many touches of your key entry point? And what you have to do is you have to narrow down to a lower level and trade it. And, uh, and then you'll get, you know, more setups. That and you look for traps, uh, especially counter trend traps and things like that. I mean, all up and down through here, these were people trying to pick tops. And they just get burned. And until we finally got an overshoot. But even here, I wasn't sure if this was an overshoot or if maybe... Um, it was going to be a two-tiered channel. So you go ahead and use the, and it was, it was really interesting that the measured move fit perfectly on this uh, last swing high, but we just didn't get there. It didn't happen. So, uh, so again, I, you know, most of my trades and most of your setups are going to be off of these shorter term trend lines. And there's even some, even within this one here, there's a real shorter term one right up to here. And that's what you need to look for and, and have in order to uh, when you can't find trades on the main pattern because sometimes the bigger patterns you don't get it you don't get enough entry off of them, enough entry opportunities off of them so uh, but anyway let's talk about uh, the trades today first one I saw was um, right here we we've been coming down all night and then somewhere around five o'clock or so we started going more sideways but notice we're making some lower highs here and I like this one simply this is a classic uh, setup here notice the new low you get a first entry a second entry short it fails plus there's some uh, I don't have my line let me get it on there you can see that um, you can see those matching lows so that's a little support resistance level and you get that failed break lower and a nice little reversal bar. That's a very bullish bar, even though, you know, some people will call that a doji. That's not a doji. Um, I mean, we closed within a tick off the high of multiple ticks there. That's a nice reversal bar. So I like going long. Even though we're not above the EMA, we pushed up there a couple of times. And then you got this trap. So I like going long there. And if you caught that trade, you could have had a runner that lasted all day if you hung with this thing. You at least could have had one back up to the other side of the channel. 
that would be my minimum target there uh, unless something changed and then of course we shoot up and we get a measured leg here Let's see there's leg one and then leg two and we really got basically almost a perfect measured move and another correction and then we just get a repeat pattern this is the exact repeat pattern of this and not only is it a little failed break lower uh, a failed second entry short it's um, it's a double test notice we tested this level right here once twice same thing we tested that level once twice a little failed break lower uh, plus you got a little trend line right here I drew this off the top and pulled it down and you know you, it's probably right here I just pulled mine up so you can put it down right there you still get the same thing and um, you could have got it off the low or the high but uh, generally most of the time you want to use your lows and in this case you see it didn't fit so you tighten it up and you get a better fit off the closes here and uh, so that's that's the way you handle that because somebody asked me that the other day as well most of the times you'll start off your low especially if it's the overnight low or an overnight high you want to start right on those highs instead of the closes you might use the closes from your second point on but you start your line from the lows or the highs so uh, and of course this isn't an overnight low so uh, again this is all this is actually that same pattern again um, notice you're, you got the low and you got a first entry and then you got a second it's just a bigger pattern but it looks very similar and then the double test and all but um, it was a little early then and the market was still looking like it was going down and you didn't have enough reason to go long until right here so you had to kind of sit patient and then of course you got the repeat pattern we just talked about it confirms the trend line that's the third touch it is a little sideways there and it is stacked up but it's really two legs down and a move up and uh, and you got the other reasons and once again they trapped a bunch of shorts probably and it takes off to the long side and you get up here and of course where does it turn down off this high if you drew this line drug it up turns down right there uh, you don't want to be looking at a short yet because there's no break of this line that's the first break it tries to make a new high and it instantly shoots below it's tempting to go short right here and you probably could have it is a failed second entry long so if you wanted to go short there I'm all right with it uh, everything's below the EMA I'm gonna make it green though it was really tempting I looked at it but I talked to myself I said you know it's not worth it uh, because the bigger channels in play we're probably headed to the other side and we didn't quite get there as you can see uh, although you still would have been able to scap out of that and you could even argue for that to be close to red but I'm gonna leave it green because I really didn't like it at all just because we're in an uptrend and we didn't have a new high in on this one yet so you weren't quite looking for a reversal yet so but you got a little spike and channel down here you got a break a move to a new low but this is that same pattern we had it once twice this is the third time look what happens you got a double bottom with a little failed break lower you got this level and it's a double test it's it's just the same exact pattern all over again go long right there and look at it take off we weren't back to this trend line but we didn't need to be because you had these other things in uh, all lined up and you really I didn't measure this but it looks real close to a measured move you can see it basically was within a tick of a measured move so that's two-legged correction and then boom off it goes we're working here and lo and behold there's your pattern again it really you had a double test right here uh, and a little failed break lower so really you could have gone long there the only reason I didn't like that one is the trend line still working down and it's right into this upper high here so you're looking for a possible reversal um, so I was a little nervous of it but when you got another opportunity over here and it went lower first and then turning one out the other side you got to say hey maybe this is a midline let's, t let's take a chance on it uh, because it's the same pattern over and over with an additional little trap there and you know you got people trying to pick tops here and it's pretty obvious that that was the case because look how it shot off real quick that means you got trap traders that realize they made a mistake and now they're exiting and that's what drives it to these new highs and you'll see that happen over and over and then finally they'll all give up 
um, and try to get long in here, and then they're wrong, and they get burned. But if you're watching the price action, you know, hey, we just had an overshoot, and we're back inside the channel. We tested it, it held, and we're kind of going sideways, so we may be headed back to the low side. Uh, this kind of purple color right here, we're just, look how flat that EMA is, and we're up and down both sides. Just kind of sit tight a minute and see what happens and really what's going on here is you got your equilibrium um the buying is starting to dry up and the sellers are coming in but you don't have enough sellers yet to really sell it off and so you just kind of get a little equilibrium going on there and it's just back and forth but you want to measure this leg once it started lower you could actually measure from right there and you can see we got to there and we bounced although it went lower but I'd measure from over here too, just in case, because that's really one correction and two legs. Still gives you the same target basically within a tick or two. So once we started lower here, and I'll be honest with you, this was real tempting. Um, notice that uh, you got that high and you tested it once and you made a lower high. You tried to test it again, you made a lower high, and plus you're even though you got a break there, that trend line is still holding everything in there. But in my opinion, it's just too flat. You're better off to stay out. So I didn't mark any of that. But I want to tell you, I was very tempted to go short right there. So um, you get your move down. And we actually had your overshoot over here. So you're probably going to get an overshoot on this side. Your break, it's going to be about equal. And that's what you get here. And notice this reversal. And... Um, You've got two measured legs down and then one more push and then you got a new low first entry and this is the first break of the big channel first entry short right here and second entry short right here and it fails instantly i like going long right there of course your stop has to go below this bar right here but um hopefully you're going to run uh and test it and make a retest of the high and it takes off pretty quick because all these shorts are trying to exit now and probably a few that had been getting long right in here decided that eh, it's time to go short and just about the time they went short it reverses and uh, but you think it would take off here but it doesn't it pulls back and it, it and you once again you get that pattern before it takes off notice this low here once you test it once you test it twice and off it goes uh, I'm a little, I was you did, I was a little leery of getting long here because you're going sideways. So when it makes a little breakout, when it pushes through the EMA and the trend channel line, or the trend line in that case, and pulls back and tests it and then goes higher, I like going long right there. And at the very least, you're looking for a measured move like so. I'm right there, and we just we blew that out of the water, really, to be honest. Um, but you got a double bottom, so that's uh, like a new low. Then first entry short, second entry short. So there's your failed second entry short that also confirms that shorter term trend line. Fairly bullish bar, go long there. Uh, you're not quite back to the high of the day. You got enough room there. Your stop does have to go below this bar here, even though that's really your trigger, trigger bar. That's the first break higher, so that's where it really failed. Uh, there's a couple more bounces off that trend line. But we've got a new high in place, and um, <clears throat> I, I'm going to want at least a second entry or something. And you don't get that till right here. Um, and this is late in the day, but that is a second entry, the first break of this, and we weren't back up to the high here yet. Although we do have a new high in place, we may not make go back up to this uh, trend channel line. But I still like that one. There's actually a failed second entry short right there, but you got to go long right into a double top at the high of the day after you've met all your reversal criteria. So you could re reverse at any time. So I don't like that one. I'll mark it green, but um, it's been a strong trend day, so you might have wanted to risk it, but I think you're better off just to wait and uh, sit tight that late in the day. If it was early in the day and you got plenty of time to trade and make up a mistake, um, uh, I, you know, I'd say go for that one for sure, but uh, especially on a, if you've had a strong trend. But uh, but yeah, going back to here, I want to talk about this again in a minute. It was really tempting to go short here because notice how we made that high and it's lower than this one. Uh, then we come up, we make a lower high, lower low, lower high. 
So it was tempting to go short right there, and that is a failed second entry long. So technically, you could go short right there. Uh, although we did have an overshoot of this channel, a move to a new high, we didn't have a low in place yet. And you, you, you really had a break here and a new low. So you could have said this one's played out and been more looking for a long. And once again, you got that repeat pattern almost right here. But with that trend channel line or that trend line holding right down through there, I'd be leery about going long there. I'd be more apt to go short than long because the EMA is starting to turn down a little bit again. Here. Well, actually, it's been down and it's really starting to flatten out, but it's still got a downward uh, bias to it. So, uh, but yeah, lots of good trades today. And there's some more in here that, you know, you could have. You could have argued for a few of these, like there's that double test of that again. That's really that repeat pattern all over again. Um, so you could have argued to go long there. You probably would have had to let it break higher and drop a lemon order in. Um, so you could have argued for that one. But again, with, it, with everything getting that flat and what's having that overshoot and then retest of the trend channel line and it holding, uh, you know, you're looking for prices to come down here. They may go higher from here. But the expectation is that we're coming back to the trend line now. So I don't like getting long in there, especially right into that trend line. So, uh, or possible trend line at that point, because you only had the first two points here. Uh, so that's why you got to be careful of that one. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up for the week. I uh, hope you had a good trading day. Um, we'll be back again to do it Monday. But I'm out of here uh, for, the, for this week. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. And we'll see you next time.